it's Molly and this is my monthly favorites for November. Holy macaroni, I cannot believe it's already the holidays and Christmas time and New Year's. I'm really excited. This has been such a wonderful year for me. I moved, I have this beautiful new apartment. All this great stuff has happened. But I'm also very excited for 2018 because I have decided to start posting every Thursday. So I'm gonna have a new video every Thursday. Woohoo! The limited edition lipstick that I love is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Matte Revolution and the shade is called Shanghai Nights. I saved this box because it's super cute and it's just, it's been a hard one for me to throw out. I'm gonna have to get there soon enough. This is the most gorgeous, deep, like, I don't even, I wanna call it a smoky red. Like, it's just so stunning on. I have been wearing it on my, my I wanna say Snapchat, Ooh, my IG story, sorry Snapchat. I have been wearing this nonstop. I was gonna wear it for this video, but I felt like maybe the deep red would look kind of funky with the blue. And this is the sweater that I wanted to wear. I mean, you're not gonna really be able to tell from a dot on the back of my hand, so like, cool Molly, but oh, holy mackerel. It is so stunning on. The Charlotte Tilbury formula for the mattes is great because it's not super drying. I wouldn't say it's super hydrating, but it's not drying so your lips don't feel cruddy afterwards. I just think that this lipstick is absolutely a must buy. Reds are already one of my favorite lip colors. They're so striking, but this one is like, I'm gonna put a picture up right now so you can see what it looks like on. All right, number two, this is not a new product by any means, but it is a product that I have just been beyond obsessed with. It is the Wayne Goss, this is the airbrush. I want you to see how versatile it is. So on the side, it comes to a point, but it has all this nice depth and density right there in the middle. Wayne Goss brushes are handmade in Japan. They are just incredible. They're beautiful. This is a natural fiber brush. They are cruelty free. They are just the softest brushes you will ever feel. And this brush was $35. For a handmade Japanese brush from Natural Bristles, that is insane. I have synthetic brushes that are two or three times the price. It just blows my mind. The other thing that's incredible about this brush is because it has that pointed tip, I use this brush for my contouring. I apply and it immediately diffuses the color. I can flip it on its side and use it for blush. I could, if I wanted to, take the pointed side and use it for powder. You could take the pointed side and use it for highlight. It is so, so versatile. I've considered purchasing a second one and I probably will soon because I'll end up using it for my contour and I don't want to clean it to do the other stuff. Um, so I'll use it for contour. I'll kind of, you know, uh, gently go like this on a paper towel and then I'll use it for my blush as well. It is so soft. It is by far, I think the most versatile, I keep saying that word, but I can't think of another one. It is the most multi-purpose brush that I own. I cannot believe the price point. There's just, I have nothing but good things to say about this brush. It is available exclusively on Beautylish, and they said this is the best-selling Wayne Goss brush of all time. I can see why. I have one in my kit. I have one in my pro kit that I bring with me to work. It's just, it's just absolutely a must buy and very affordable for the quality level. Like that part, I just, I really can't wrap my brain around it. Woohoo! Next up are these, oh my gosh, here's another product that I have both in my personal kit and my pro kit. And I feel like this one is gonna be a shocker, but it is e.l.f., which is a super affordable brand. And I know the thing with e.l.f. is they have some hits and they have some misses. And I know this because I have a best of e.l.f. post on my blog. I actually have two of them from the older e.l.f. products and then I updated it in 2017 and just wrote a whole new post about their new products because they come out with so many good things. 
I'm gonna do a separate Best of Elf video, but for right now, these brow tints are incredible. So what I do, I have one eyebrow that's like really bald and patchy and crazy, but um, I have these in blonde, medium, and dark. For my personal kit, I just have the medium and blonde. I think I'm wearing the medium today, but lately I've been wearing the blonde and I like it even more. So I fill in my brows, I fill in the bald spots, and then wait until you see this wand. It's so teeny and mini, and then you just brush this through your eyebrows. And here's the crazy part. I've never used a product like this. Oh my gosh, I just got goosebumps. I'm little, I have goosebumps talking about this product. It's called the Brow Tint, and it literally gives your brows a tint. If you've ever gone to a salon and gotten a brow tint, and all of a sudden your, la your lashes, your eyebrows just look a little bit bolder and better and more distinct, but not super overdone. That's what happens with this product. I'm gonna zoom in. I already have some on, but maybe I'll try to add some more. You can see how this it lit, this product just grabs onto your brows, gives it a natural tint, just like you went to the salon and got a tint. It brushes on so quickly. If you have super full eyebrows and you don't have bald spots like me, by all means, skip filling your brows in and just put this gel on and you will be blown away. It is so phenomenal. I cannot believe it. I wanna say these are $5 each, maybe six, but they are just something to write home about. Another product that is not a new product by any means, it's actually a very old product. Not old, but like it's an OG product, you know? This is the Benefit High Beam. I have been using, this was actually my first highlighter I ever got was Benefit High Beam. And I remember like I would do my dot, 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 and I was so proud of myself because I had just learned how to highlight. Not with this bottle, this is a newer bottle. But this highlighter, sometimes I have so many highlighters and I'm not saying that to sound like a spoiled brat. I'm saying it because I am super lucky. And I'm very highlighter blessed. And this product, sometimes I'll just forget how good it is. And the other day I reached for it and honestly, I have not stopped using it since. I can't stop using it because it gives you the most dewy, ethereal, most incredible skin and actually, this product I also have in my personal kit and my pro kit. That's really funny. Like a lot of these products I have in both because they're so good. And I just love how natural this highlighter looks, but at the same time, it looks like the it's so pigmented and so incredible that when you turn, people are like, what's on your skin? But not because it looks super fake. You can't see the highlighter. It just melts in and your skin looks 16. It is incredible. If you have never tried Benefit High Beam, they also make minis now and they're so affordable. And honestly, a mini is gonna last you forever and ever and ever. So I will link a mini below as well because this is a must try product. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection SPF 50 Skin Shielding Primer Universal Tint. So typically with primers, if they have a really heavy silicone feel, I run for the hills. But this one, uh, I tried this on my face and it was a no for me. So, so I'm sure you're thinking, why is this a monthly favorites and where in the heck do you use it? But I have, this is, it's so fun being not 20 anymore. I have a ton of sun damage here. I'm super fair. When I first moved to Los Angeles, I did not wear sunblock for, I swear, the first six years unless I was going to the beach. And I have tons of redness and sun damage. It's like my skin's warm to the touch. There's broken vessels. It's just a hot mess. I wish I wore sunblock just going everywhere, which is what I do now. I wear sunblock everywhere. I get in the car, I'm walking somewhere, I wear sunblock. It's just what I do. So I pop on this e.l.f. Beauty Shield Primer and it smooths everything out. It's super, super natural looking on my chest and neck, which I love. It's very thick and honestly, I hated it on my face, but on my neck and chest, it really stays. It's the perfect amount of coverage. I'm gonna put a little bit on right now so you can see. Let's see, I'm a little bit red right here. Oh, 
I didn't get it on my sweater, good. So can you see how that is just totally smoothing out the redness in my skin? I was noticing before when I wasn't putting a tint on my chest in videos, I just had this crazy red neck and chest and it looked so weird next to a medium or full coverage face. So this stuff, oh gosh, I hope I didn't stretch that out. Perfect. This stuff is just incredible. This guy is $12. The other thing that I love besides the tint and the texture over my chest and neck is that it has SPF 50. They also say that there's key antioxidants that help to protect your skin against everyday environmental aggressors. Um, I love antioxidants. I'll take more of them. It, I mean, if this is basically green tea for your chest, bring it on. Next up, these are the Becca Beach Tints. And I know you hear beach tint and you think summertime, but these are, I don't even wanna call them a cream blush. They're like a combination of a cream and a liquid almost blush. The formula is very unique. And I'm wearing, uh, let's see, today I think I put on grapefruit and I also have guava. These give your skin such a natural flush. For me in the winter, sometimes, powder blush can just start to look like I'm really wearing blush and it's not flattering. It makes my skin look older. I just look like I can see my makeup sitting on top of my skin and these blend right into your skin. They give you just enough flush that you absolutely have a blush color on, but it's never overdone. And most of all, it makes my skin look younger because cream and liquid products are much more flattering for dry or maturing skin and I'm just obsessed with them. I also have the shade Watermelon, which is really pretty, but honestly probably better for a light to medium skin tone, but Guava and Grapefruit are my go-tos for me having fair to light skin. These are just amazing blushes. I totally love them. Highly recommend. This is the Visart Paris Nudes, and it was actually in my dupes video for the Pat McGrath dupes. I picked this up during the Sephora, somebody gave me their Sephora employee promotion code, so I got 20% off before the VIB sale. So I had like two months where I could do 20% off, and it was good because then I could stretch my order out and not have one big crazy order all at once. So I've been playing with this palette for a couple months now. Visart palettes are really beautiful quality. They are on the pricier side. I think that the cost is justified. I wanna say they're $80 for these palettes, which I know is like kind of sticker shock. I think most of the time we expect a palette to be between $30 and $50. You know, maybe $65 is like spending the bucks. So when Visor came out with these $80 palettes, uh, initially I had a little bit of sticker shock. I met Anastasia Visart at a beauty expo and I thought she was so kind and wonderful and I started swatching a lot of the shadows and I'd been hearing rumors about how amazing they were and when I swatched them in person that's when I was like whoa these are really crazy you know matte the neutral matte palette is the one that I use daily again that's a product that I have personally and in my kit and it's really hard to do matte shadows right they're either really chalky and make your eyes look so much older than they are, or they're super pigmented and then they're just so hard to blend out and it just kind of ends up getting muddy or and it's just hard to put the right amount on and it's just like the color is so saturated. But the Visor hits that really perfect spot of being pigmented enough, but also being able to apply in a really sheer and beautiful way where your makeup still looks natural, your skin still looks youthful. The Paris palette is one that I had also swatched in store. I was actually gonna get a different one and then I swatched this one and thought like, this is the one for me. There's so many good shades in here. Oh my gosh, look at that pigment, how beautiful that is. This is a shadow that I am wearing a ton. It's just this really beautiful, rose taupe and I just find it to be so stunning on. I will either wear it alone or I'll pop it on with a smoky eye and it's just, it's so pretty. Uh, there's a gorgeous purple shade. This is a great inner eye highlight color. 
These are beautiful bronzes and copper tones. There's just, oh, and this is a stunning brown gray. And the blue I wanna play, I mean, that's the thing, like I wanna play around with the blue a little bit more. There's just so many good shades in this palette. It's unbelievable. And they all just end up looking stunning on. I end up using it so frequently and the shimmer's beautiful. It's never glittery, it's never chunky. It never looks like, you know, And last up is the Ella and Mila Soy Polish Remover. This is, I want to say, $18. And I never thought of myself as a bougie nail person, but I will say I started using this over my, you know, $3 drugstore nail polish remover, and my nails are so much healthier. The texture of it going on is just... You can just feel how the formula is so different. It's really moisturizing. It doesn't give your, you know how sometimes after you take your nail polish off with drugstore nail polish remover, the next day your cuticles just look like the desert. That is not the case with this. With the soy polish remover, your hands just look better the next day almost. It's just, it's incredible. It's really good stuff. And a little goes a long way. I put, I literally just take out, you know, a cotton pad and I do this one time and that's enough for all 10 nails plus. So this is definitely one of those quality over quantity type things because the, the high quality level actually ends up like that where I'm using less product, if that makes sense. Like I want to say... I've had this bottle for probably six months and I'm not even halfway through and I change my nail polish a few times a week. So I've had this way longer than I expected. It's lasting me so long and it's just the best nail polish remover I've ever used. That wraps up my November favorites. Let me know if you pick anything up. I wanna hear what you think about the products and yeah, that's everything. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye. So the limited edition, the limited edition, <clears throat> Wayne Gone, bleh, it's available, excuse, ugh, it's available, excuse, exclusively. It is available. <sighs> All right, we're moving and grooving. Oh gosh. All right, that wraps, whoo, hair in the mouth.